So when I started seeing success in my business and my life, a good portion of that, a good portion was because I started manifesting it properly. And I don't know if you believe it, but honestly, it's so true. Some people might see it as magic, fluff, bullshit, <laughs> whatever title they like to call it. But it's so true. The mind is the most powerful thing that you have. I actually believe the mind is the most powerful thing on earth. And especially for my YouTube, it drastically, I saw instant results with it. I read the book, Reality Transurfing. It's probably one of the best books I've ever read. And it's currently helping me now with my e-com store. But for my YouTube specifically, It helped me get to a thousand subs and with a snap of a finger. I remember it was maybe May, around April, May of 2023. And I told myself that by the end of summer, so by the end of August, I'll have a thousand subs. And at the time I had 400 and it was not going up that quick. Like it was, you know, 600 subs for some people uh, get that in minutes. But for me at the time, my channel was pretty slow and it wasn't growing fast. So that goal actually kind of seemed out of reach for some people. But I truly believed it. And I didn't even change anything. I didn't change the style of videos or I didn't do anything different at all. I just said, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to be consistent. And I'm going to get the 1,000 subs by the end of the summer. And... I, cause that's the key. Like, it's just belief. And that word belief, it's so broadly used in multiple ways. It's, but it's so powerful. It's used in religion. It's used in daily use. It's used in masterminds. It's, it's used everywhere, but truly it's the belief. And I truly believed it, like I said. And it was funny because it was August. And I had like 600. I was 400 subs away from my goal. And I had a month left. It was August 20. I still had 200. Uh, two, I only grew 200 subs. So I was still at 600. And for some reason, I don't even know how, because sometimes I struggle with belief now, but for some reason, I, even with 10 days left in the month, I still believed it. I couldn't explain, like I can't, I can't explain it. It was this just, it was this belief that I'm going to fucking hit it. I know it for a fact. August 28th, one video blew up. If you go back on my channel, I think it was the video with Edgar. Or I don't remember exactly. I, I'm pretty sure it's that one. I got it. A thousand subs. I have videos of me being hyped as fuck. And it was just such a learning lesson to see like, even at the last minute, 
even when there's only two days left in the month, or no, August 31st, three days. I got it. So it's crazy how the mind works. And I want to bring up that story because I know that we all are struggling right now. I know you watching, we're testing multiple products and it's not getting anywhere. It's not clicking. And maybe you might be getting closer and then maybe you test a shitty product and you get a step back. And it's just, you think to yourself, when is it going to hit? When am I going to fucking get it? But the mind, the things that we say, our thoughts, that determines how long we reach it. How many times you think negative, that just pushes the goal further. And how many times you think positive, it attracts it more. Because honestly, truly, your words are magic. Your words are magic. You think you're joking around when you say, oh, I'm, I'm broke and I can't afford it, you know? No, you're, the universe doesn't know jokes. It doesn't understand. So I know, obviously, after failure, after failure, after failure, it's so hard to keep the positive mindset. But trust me, that's just the same thing as just taking action in your business, actually working long hours. Like, look, right now, I'm tired as fuck. It is midnight. And guess what? I'm about to work, set up a whole new product page, whole new ads, set them up on the ads manager. Starting from scratch, I haven't started anything. It's midnight. And, and yes, these nights are, are obviously steps towards your goals. But it's the mind also the energy you take to think positive, those are just as much important. There's still actions you're taking to get to your goal. If anything, they're even more important. And I remember I read the book, The Power of Subconscious Mind, and it talked about how your words are so important that you should be saying kind of like prayers. And just like Christianity, just like any other religion, they always preach. When you pray, don't ask. Act like it's already been given to you. So I, I've been lacking on that. I'm not going to lie. I used to do that every night. I used to write down uh, what I want to say. And I would say it every night. I still pray, but I pray, I pray directly to God. I don't have a sentence. Um manifesting my dreams but now i'm starting again because i i do believe i'm lacking with that i haven't been doing it for the last few months and i think i need it so i just wrote it down right now and wanted to share it to you for you guys to maybe for you to get an idea and i say i follow god so God is within me. So how can I fail? I'm disciplined in all realms. And I'm rich. And money flows to me easily. Therefore, so I can provide and push positivity to the world. That's it. Don't make it. Don't make it complicated. Make it short, easy to remember. And then the key thing, the key thing that I do because you need to genuinely just believe it. It's not just about repeating it, kind of like reading out loud. You need to say those words out loud with meaning, with your heart. So usually when I do that, I say each sentence or maybe say a part of a sentence, pause and take a break to like actually vision it in my head. So like, let's say for an example, I follow God. And I'll vision in my head the times I've read the Bible, the times I've made decisions according to God, the times I've been tempted, but I didn't because of God. 
that's the thoughts and the visions. I'm playing that in my head. So, or like I say, when I'm disciplined in all realms, I, I just vision me eating healthy, me training every day, me going for runs. I'm rich and money flows to me. I vision, I vision the money coming in from my store, selling and hearing the ka -chings. So I can provide and push positivity to the world. And that's one thing I, I vision is this. Making videos to help people like you watching this. To push positivity to the world and not record or push garbage. Like the majority of social media right now. And you may ask or some people may ask like why is this always about money? And... There's another quote that I've heard and it's money without time is worthless and time without money is pointless. Now replay that, go back a bit and hear, re-listen to it. Make it click in your head. It's super powerful because a lot of people may say money is evil and even in the Bible, sometimes they've said that it's harder for a rich man to go to heaven. They've said that. But the reason why there's a but you have to you see the Bible explains stuff kind of in like a poem or a riddle. And it's, and it's very difficult to understand. But when you put thought into it and you read about it more you realize the reason that is because usually and the majority of rich people have an ego. They think they're better than everyone else. And therefore, because of that, they don't go to heaven. And that's why I strictly, strictly say in my manifestation sentence to make money, to provide and to push positivity. Because who I am right now is who I am. And like we've said before, money enhances the person you are already. So I've tried my best to destroy ego while being broke. I've tried my best to be positive and become, become a, a very good person. The best I could. Without the money. And I know the money is just... Um, a factor that can help me fulfill some goals and to again just enhance who I am already. It's serious. It, it really is. Don't take this lightly. Your words are your will. Your words should be iron. That's why I've realized there's so many times where I say something that I'm going to do something and later down the line it comes and I don't want to do it, but I, I do it anyways, because I said I did. I said I will. I'm going to do my, my word is my will. And when you practice that consistently, even with the smallest things, like you tell your mom, I'm going to walk the dog later on in the afternoon. And then the afternoon comes and you don't feel it doesn't matter. You do it. You walk. Just these little things you train your you train yourself, you train your mind to understand that your word is will, your word is iron. And then whatever you say comes true. So then you don't even say things lightly. Like you, you put extra thought into it, like what you say. But it's worth it. So that's why when, I don't know, I wish I could have a, a count of how many times I said I'm going to be successful in this YouTube channel. There's so much, there's hours and years even of dedication and energy into essaying. I don't say it lightly. Again, I'm not here to flex. It's, it's 1230 in the morning and I'm about to just do a full session of work and I'm gonna get it done. No matter how long it takes. 
actions, physical actions mixed with mental actions is what will get you to your goal. Remember that. So remember, you're not alone. And reach out. I read every comment. So if you have any questions about this or you just want someone to reconstruct a positive mindset for yourself. Again, I read every comment. Comment down below if, about anything. Again, stay positive. Manifest your dreams. And I'll see you at the top.